Okay, this is pretty simple. Just remember, jackburford.com. Shop online 24-7, 365 for the best deal on your next Chevy. Stay local, shop local. Don't be known for buying out of town. jackburford.com, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, here's your Thursday news brief with the highlights. A Richmond man was recently arrested for not one, but two occasions in the past month, racking up a total of nine charges. In the most recent instance, Richmond Police Department reported that Dustin Isaacs was observed driving on Barnes Mill Road without an illuminated license plate, and then allegedly made multiple traffic violations. Following a search of Isaacs's car, seven grams of suspected methamphetamine syringes and baggies were located. Noting the weight and nature of the seizure, Isaacs was charged with trafficking in methamphetamine, possession of drug paraphernalia, and six varying traffic violations. In an unrelated case less than two weeks prior, Isaacs was also, according to police, charged with third-degree criminal mischief. In this case, Richmond police respond to a complaint about a security camera being damaged in the entrance to the Bay Colony subdivision. Upon reviewing the surveillance footage, it portrayed a man from various angles damaging the camera equipment. The total cost of damages for the camera exceeded $350. Police were able to determine that the suspect seen crouching near the camera and tampering with it until the picture went blank was in fact Dustin Isaacs. When trash accumulates in the creeks of Madison County, there's a hidden hero who spends his time cleaning up the trash that builds up in the waterways. Curtis Eads, also known as Creek Runner 242, is a special mission that benefits the waters of Madison County. WBOIND to caught up with the marathon runner and got his perspective on what a hobby like this can mean to a community and how this all started for the Creek Runner. Eads states that he wishes by the springtime to start up events that would inspire people to tag along with him and start a movement to clean the creeks of our homes. You can watch the video up now. And Saturday, storm damage caused the Wallingford Media Group's WEKY AM 1340 to go off the air. While repairs are made, Y92.5 FM has also been taken off the air. Sports broadcasts that have been scheduled to air on WKY AM and Y92.5 will now air on the sister station, 103.5 WKXO, for the time being. And finally, Kentucky State Police are asking for help as they try to locate a female subject who was caught on camera after she reportedly purchased an iPad with a stolen card. On January 3rd, KSP in London received the call from the Corbin Walmart with the report of fraudulent use of a stolen credit card over 500. The suspect is a female who was seen wearing a pink hooded sweatshirt. They ask that you contact KSP Post 11 at 606-878-6622 with any information that could help identify this woman. You can also view the surveillance pictures up now on WBON-TV. For more stories such as these, always be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.